Hi there, I'm Sam Shaw, the watch and jewellery manager here at Webb's Auction House. And I'm here to tell you about an auction we have on the 21st of November, and more specifically, the amazing timepieces we have in this sale. The first watch I'd like to talk about is this beautiful Rolex Datejust Reference 6605 from 1956. It's in solid 14 karat gold, cased and bracelet. This one is particularly special because the bracelet was made by H. Britton and Sons in Birmingham. This was at a time when Rolex was still using outworkers in the UK where they were founded. This is a very unique piece and in immaculate condition. The highlight watch of this whole auction is this 1944 Rolex Panerai Radiomir California Dial Type E. Reference 3646. This is one of only 31 known survivors of this watch that is so important to both the history of Panerai and Rolex. Conversely, on the modern side of the um, collection, we have this Gerard Perigo Laureato. This is crafted in hard zirconian ceramic and features a beautifully patterned Clou de Paris dial. This watch was designed by Adolfo Natalini, a Milanese architect, and the design language follows the trend of casual sports watches in the 1970s and was a direct answer to Audemars Piguet's Royal Oak. From Patek Philippe, we have this 5085J Neptune. This watch is made from solid 18 karat yellow gold and is thought to be one of only 100 examples made. It comes with the original box and an extract from the archives. From IWC, we have this beautiful example of the Portuguese perpetual calendar. This watch features 428 individual components. It's so accurate, it knows not only the difference between a 30 and a 31 day month, but it also knows to have 28 days every February. It knows the leap year every four years. The moon phase is so accurate, it only deviates by one day every 577 and a half years. A true wonder of horology.